So what did congressional Republicans who took a stand on principle against the president's stimulus plan think about his call for more fiscal responsibility? Joining us now, Congressman Darrell Issa, a Republican from California, ranking member of the Government for Over Oversight and Government Reform Committee. He attended the uh, president's fiscal summit today. And Congressman, what did you think about what President Obama had to say about fiscal responsibility? Well, we're glad that he's joining the Republican Party. We, we certainly think that he's on the right uh, track. He's looking at waste, fraud, abuse. He's looking at how we make decisions in procurement. He's looking at cost overruns. So uh, I think we applaud that. I think we applaud that on a bipartisan basis. These are things that uh, these good government items that need to be worked on aggressively by every administration, and particularly after the run-up in contractors during the, uh, the Iraq and Afghan war. There's a time to re rationalize our workforce. All of that is a plus. Unfortunately, we did get a little bit of, of less than good answers, particularly on the president's statement that he was going to cut the deficit in half uh, over in his first term. Which deficit? He's using a figure of over a trillion. He's not using the base budget uh, figure, but rather using these one-time uh, bailout and stimulus as part of the deficit. I think that's pretty disingenuous. Well, but Congressman, wasn't it disingenuous of the Republicans in the Bush administration to not include the price of the Iraq war in the budget? figures? I'm absolutely in agreement that we never should have been doing beyond the first one these these so-called emergency supplementals. I've felt they were wrong all along. I've spoken against the, the fact that the supplementals turned into two pots of request with people actually deciding in advance how much they're going to put into each of them as though it was two opportunities. You're, you're absolutely right. But when you look at a deficit, you look at one-time expenses, we know those are going away. There is a peace dividend if we're able to get out of Iraq. Afghanistan has to be viewed as a long-term commitment as of right now that's going to cost us. But at the same time, when you look at $350 billion that went out in TARP money, that certainly has to be considered to be something that even if, it ha even if there's another 350 in this year, both of those have to be set aside when you're going to set a goal to go from the roughly $500 billion of deficit to $250 billion. So we are a little concerned that the number has to be established half of what? The half has to be of the non-war uh, uh, base deficit, which has crept up, which is an extremely great problem, and I agree. We should. The president said there shouldn't. We shouldn't use the fuzzy numbers of the past, including I would assume the last two years of a Democrat Congress. And I agree with him, and I hope we, we all agree on good common sense numbers that the American people can believe in. Well, the president was asked this afternoon, and he took a question from one of your Republican colleagues who asked for more bipartisanship. And here was the president's answer. Watch. On the one hand. Uh, the majority has to be inclusive. On the other end, the minority has to be constructive. What you should see, I think, is the majority saying, uh, what are your ideas? The minority's got to then come up with those ideas and not just want to blow the thing up. Congressman, is the Republican Absolutely. Party ready to be constructive as opposed to destructive? Well, the president reached out to us and we responded in a constructive fashion on committee after committee activity here today. Many of those thoughts were put into the president's statements at the wrap-up. We intend to continue to work with them. So I'm very pleased that today was the beginning of an outreach by the Democrat Party, but only... But didn't the president the reach president. out several weeks ago on the stimulus? I mean, today wasn't no. the beginning of outreach. That outreach started several weeks ago. No, no. Speaker Pelosi made the decision to, uh, to announce a conference decision before she called a conference. It's very clear there never was any outreach in the House. The Senate I can't speak for, but in the House, Speaker Pelosi made a decision. She could deliver the president a bill that they liked with all their pork in it, they being the House Democrats. And the president today, in his wrap-up, he was talking about 15 percent or more. Well, regardless that, that of who was shut wrong. out who, are you, guys re are you guys ready to move on? I mean, I think that seems to be the bottom line, is regardless of who's responsible or who made the mistakes a couple weeks ago, is this a new day in terms of dealing with the budget? Every day is a new day when it comes to us standing for doing the right thing with the other party, for the American people. Every day is the right day to say we won't tolerate race, fraud, abuse, or pork 
regardless of the reason, being thrown into budgets. That's part of our most important responsibility is when we see $8 billion into a train to send, send city as part of a stimulus, we reject it. We Congressman, there's, there's no project for a train from California, Las Vegas. You Republicans know better. It's $8 billion. It's going to the Department of Transportation. And a Republican, Ray LaHood, he was a Republican in your Congress, he's the Transportation Secretary who gets to decide he where the money is spent. No, this it is, is wrong this to is, say that there was a project from L.A. This, to Las Vegas. It's not in the bill, Congressman. It, it, look, the maglev $2 billion plus up to that $6 billion that was already in showed up in conference. We very much know this is it's, Harry Reid's uh, pork well, project. Well, that's different than saying that it's in the bill. It is not in the bill. Now, whether this is to help Harry Reid, we can argue about that, but it's incorrect to say that there was this project to Sin City. In any case, Congressman, yeah, absolutely there we is, love having you on the show. We, we appreciate Thank you coming on. Congressman Daryl Issa. Coming up.